Hello, welcome back to RB MCQ Bank Knowledge Booster. So, let's start the first question. The question is that softening of the pubic bones due to deficiency of calcium and vitamin D and lack of exposure to sun rays is known as Option are option A kyphotic pelvis, option B osteomalacic pelvis, option C nasal pelvis, option D robots pelvis. So, here the correct option is option b osteomalacic pelvis okay this is the result of deficiency of calcium and vitamin d and lack of exposure to the sunlight next question number two in what type of the following pelvis all of the both sides are absent and the sacrum is fused with the innominate bones options are option a robots pelvis option b kyphotic pelvis option c nasal pelvis option d none of the above so here the correct option is option a robots pelvis okay but you see the option c here in nasal pelvis it is due to arrested development of one ala of the sacrum okay and in kyphotic pelvis there is changes in the vertebral column here the sacrum is still backwards in the upper part and forwards in the lower part it is narrow and straight the anterior posterior diameter of the inlet is increased but is diminished at the outlet subpubic angle is narrow Next question number three, the disparity in the relation between the head and the pelvis is called option or option A, pelvic inlet contracted, option B, contracted mid pelvis, option C, contracted outlet, option D, cephalopelvic disproportion. So here the correct option is option D, cephalopelvic disproportion. Next question number four, a contracted outlet is suspected when the interisial tuberous diameter is option or option A, 8 cm or less, option B, 9 cm or less, option C, 10 cm or less, option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is option A, 8 cm or less. Next question number 5. Pelvic inlet contracted is considered when the obstetric conjugate is option or option A less than 10 cm, option B less than 11 cm, option C more than 9 cm, option D more than 10 cm. So here the correct option is option A less than 10 cm. Next question number 6. The presence and degree of CPD at the brim can be ascertained by in which of the following option or option a clinical in clinical by doing abdominal method abdominal vaginal method option b imaging pelvimetry option c cephalometry option d all of the above so here the correct option is option d all of the above next question number seven when the obstetric conjugate is less than 7.5 centimeter then it is considered as option or option a severe disproportion option b borderline option c dystocia option d contracted so here the correct option is option a severe disproportion in the pelvic dream in anterior posterior diameter we will get or we used to get three diameter that is anatomical diameter obstetrical conjugate and diagonal conjugate anatomical diameter or anatomical conjugate is 11 centimeter and obstetrical conjugate is 10 centimeter and diagonal conjugate is 12 centimeter